Right from the early stages, we start to introduce control. So we're making Boris sit before he starts to search. This becomes part of the trigger for the dog in that he knows what comes next. So for Boris, it's a sit, followed by a touch of the nose, and, and um, Alan will give a command to find it. Um, hopefully, Boris will go out, find the new target substance. Uh, because we've trained him on other sub substances, he should indicate it and passively indicate it, and then we'll mark the behaviour, and then Alan will give him a reward. Let's see how they get on. Okay. Good boy! Good boy! Make it slightly more difficult and see whether the dog has some recognition of it. So, albeit the box looks the same, we're hoping he's using his nose and eventually he'll realise that he's, he's got to basically sniff it out. So, made it quite difficult really. Um, he's only a little dog, but he's extremely agile and uh, hopefully he'll, he'll find it for us. Take the visual element out of it so we can place the box inside the cupboard. Okay. Bring him in, mate. We'll send yeah, him from there. Yeah, so he's so he's starting sit. to sit. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good lad. <laughs>